This is an example of how you could use breakout rooms in your history class. So in a history class, I tend to think about going back in time and finding information about a certain topic <clears throat> for to either build background information for the topic that we're learning in class or to supplement what we're learning in class as a fun activity. I uh, chose Mesopotamia as my topic for this uh, demonstration and I've set up four breakout rooms and depending on how you run your class I would uh, push out the scavenger hunt uh, clues for example in a um, word document if you trust your class not to uh, go ahead without your instructions. Otherwise, I would make slides with the hints and I would uh, show the slides one by one and set a timer in between each slide for the kids to go run to the different rooms and find the different answers and report back to me. Uh, I could assign teams depending on how many students are present or it could be on a first come first serve, whoever gets the right answer first wins that particular point and uh, if you have uh, several kids in other breakout rooms while you have a winner in the main room reporting back to you you can easily bring all the students back to the main room and go over what the answer was to that particular clue so for an example of what I have in these rooms that you could use to engage the students in the topic that you're focusing on, in this case, Mesopotamia. I have uh, an example of the cuneiform alphabet. And uh, in addition to using this as a scavenger hunt clue, uh, you could also, as a ticket out the door, have the kids write their name on an additional whiteboard that you would set up using cuneiform, just so you knew that they spent some time in this room and uh, had a little fun messing around with the alphabet. Another thing I have in here is a website that has several links that the kids can interact with to find clues to um, answers to clues that you might have in your scavenger hunt. And uh, one thing you want to always make sure of is that the website is working before your kids are set free into it. Uh, this website is interactive, the one that I chose, and is taking a minute to load. So uh, do always make sure that your website is working and that the links are working so that they can get to the answers that you're hoping they will get to. Um, I'll come back to the third room in just a second. Oh, I know what the problem is. I'm frozen. Okay, um, I always like to include timelines whenever I'm dealing with history classes. I tend to use tem timelines sometimes in my science class as well. Um, this particular timeline comes from the Museum of Art. There might be other, there's artifacts here from Mesopotamia that you might want to include on the scavenger hunt or that they can click on and read about and you could get very specific as to what the name of this piece is or where it came from just so you know that they're spending time in the website uh, getting used to looking for information that you want them to find etc and then of course I would always want to try and incorporate some sort of a video uh, this is a just a YouTube video of course I would try to put it in view pure so that uh, none of the extra videos would come up on the side. I would also want to preview this video and pick out some sort of uh, clue or an answer to a clue in the scavenger hunt so that this would not be a waste of time and of course be careful in choosing the an appropriate uh, length for your video clip especially if you're doing a fast activity like a scavenger hunt. Um, at the end, it's always good to bring everybody back and debrief the activity, go over any of the answers that 
seem to not be able to be answered by the majority of students, find out why, and or perhaps have students go off on their own and find a better website to answer the questions that you have or possibly have supplementary questions. This could be a fun activity in preparation for a test or quiz. It's definitely not something I would try uh, during a particular lesson necessarily, but maybe as um, an extra activity throughout the week. Thank you.